Well, hey there. I'm John Henry, and, and we're going to do some science today. Welcome to Kids After Hours Science. We're going to try a new experiment. You ready to give it a go? Let's get started. Today we're going to try to do an experiment that you can do at home. So let's gather our materials and you can follow along with me. You'll need a tray, some Alka-Seltzer tablets, a water bottle, a film canister, some water balloons, and some water. Okay, now that we have all of our materials, let's get started. I've got this all on a tray because I want to make sure I keep the mess a little contained. Today's experiment might get messy. We're going to start by using some Alka-Seltzer tablets to create bubbles. Did you know the bubbles that come from the tablet actually create gas? That gas grows and gets bigger. Well, how do we know that? Let's find out for sure. Here's our first experiment. We're going to take a tablet. We're going to break it up into some smaller pieces. That means it'll fit better into the uh, water bottle. So you're going to put it all together into that water bottle. For a big water bottle like this, you'll probably have to do four, five, maybe even six tablets. And then we're ready to pour the water in. So I'm going to put my water into a container that I can pour from easily. Now before I pour the water in, I want to have my balloon ready. Because as we put the water in, I want to trap the gas inside the bottle. We're going to do that with this balloon. So have your water balloon ready, set it to the side, and then pour some water in. Whoa! Look at all those bubbles that are forming. Okay, quick, we gotta take the, the bottle, cover it up with the balloon, and I think, oh, I think I see our balloon growing. Look at that! As the gas expands, it pushes up and stretches out the rubber of the balloon. Here's what's going on. The Alka-Seltzer tablets are creating carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is something that we, you and I, breathe out all the time and it's created through the uh, citric acid and the sodium bicarbonate that's inside of these tablets. It's just expanding and expanding. Oh, I'm really scared because at this point it might explode everywhere and make a big giant pop. Oh my goodness, look at this. Okay, I'm gonna carefully hold on to this balloon. Okay, it's stuck on there. If I carefully shake up the water a little bit, will it make some more? Oh man, this is going crazy. This is so cool. That balloon expanded so big. What if I what if I pull it down and let it go? Whoa! It flew right off the top. That gas was trapped inside and needed to escape. That's why it was going up the top and out the out the top of the balloon. That's crazy cool. Man, wasn't that awesome? We just saw a balloon fly right off the top of our bottle because all that gas was trying to escape. Next up, you're going to grab your film canister. If you don't know what a film canister is, ask your parents. It'll make them feel old. If you don't have a film canister, you can use a plastic baggie. What we're going to do is we're going to take these tablets once again. We're going to break them up into a few pieces. I think I'm going to do just one tablet inside of this little container because it's pretty small. So now, here's where it gets tricky. i got to hold my cap and get ready to smack it on top of there after I pour my water in. This might take you a few tries to figure it out. Here we go. We're gonna pour the water right in there and then cover it up with the cap and there it is. Whoa! Oh my goodness, that was crazy. The cap exploded off the top because all the gas was trying to go somewhere. Wow. Man, I'm glad that I wasn't standing right over top of that. Oh goodness. Wasn't that so cool? Man, I love doing fun science experiments. Tune in again soon to try another science experiment with me, John Henry. Thanks for joining us for Kids After Hours Science.